start a little weekly vlog week in my life few days in my life we're unsure what it's gonna be but yeah i just wanted to say welcome back um i got a little package in the mail and i wanted to show you guys what i got it's summer season right which also means it's bikini season which also means that i need to buy new bathing suits unnecessarily and i wouldn't exactly call this an unnecessary purchase to be honest because i have this exact same bikini in blue and i'm so obsessed with it that i've literally worn it into the ground so i wanted to get the same bikini but in bright pink because how freaking fun is this it's from the brand kiwana swim this is by far my favorite 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 swim brand i would say out of all the swim brands that i've tried i mean i've tried Kulani, I've tried Orel, which I don't think Orel exists anymore. I went to their Instagram the other day and they haven't updated it in a while and people were like really angry in the comments. So wouldn't recommend shopping from there. I've tried Target, I've tried a ton, but by far out of all, all of the ones that I've tried, this is my favorite brand and this is a little bit of a different texture than my blue one. So hopefully it still fits the same, but it's really cute. I personally like this sports bra style tops because I just like a little bit more support when I'm wearing a bikini also when I'm wearing a bikini specifically around my family you know and it's great for like jet skiing water sports snorkeling going on a boat anything like where you aren't just laying down and like you know tanning by a pool or something so this is the top and then these are the bottoms which they look a little cheeky so that's fun <laughs> They have different bottom options that you can choose from though. So I just chose the cheekier version. And it has a little bit more coverage than my other one, so that's good. But these are the bottoms. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's like this scrunchy, stretchy material, which is what I like because I feel like this specific material is extremely, extremely, extremely flattering on a lot of different body types, and specifically my body type. So I love it. This is by far my favorite brand. It's definitely a little bit pricier. I think one set is like $100. I got it on sale, the Memorial Day sale, 25% off. So mine was $80. But I think it's typically upwards of like $100 for one set. Granted, that's not like outrageous for bikinis nowadays. If you shop from small businesses or other brands that aren't like Target, Shein, Amazon, I think this is a pretty good price for small brand bikinis. So I would highly recommend, I'll have a link down below. I love, love, love this color. I'm into the bright pinks and bright oranges this summer. I just think that it's so cute. So that's my little haul. This was the last thing that came in from the Memorial Day sale that I shopped. I was waiting on Abercrombie to come in. This came in. I think those are the only two stores that I really purchased from on Memorial Day, but I've been waiting for them to come in because the shipping was a little bit delayed due to so many orders. So I'm excited for this. <laughs> But I just made a little smoothie for not really lunch, kind of like a snack slash lunch. I had a sandwich at 11 this morning because I was hungry and I don't really have any breakfast food. So I just figured I'd make an early lunch. And then I just made a protein smoothie at like 1.30. So feeling nice and full now. Also update on the protein powder, the Orgain protein powder. I like it a lot. I feel like I've finally gotten the hang of the proportions and I've gotten used to the flavor a little bit and I really, really like the chocolate flavor. Would highly recommend if you guys are looking for good plant-based protein powder. Super delicious in smoothies. It does just kind of take a little while to get used to it. I started with like half of a scoop and now I'm doing a full scoop, which they recommend two scoops in a cup of water, which is like how most people drink protein powder. But if you put in a smoothie, I feel like one scoop is perfect because it's not super overpowering and the chocolate flavor is really nice and kind of refreshing. So I have been loving that. I figured I'd give you guys an update on that because I did mention it in a few vlogs back. 
and I was saying how I didn't know if I liked it or not because I needed to get like the hang of it. I've just been working all day. I had a few meetings. I had some things that I need to take care of, tasks that I need to check off my list. And now I'm taking a mini little break from work and sitting at the counter watching YouTube. <laughs> Just like one video. I'm gonna use that as my little break because I needed to like remove myself from my desk temporarily. So figured I'd update the vlog and then take my little like 15 minute YouTube break and then go back to work. It's been one of those weeks where I just have no motivation to really do work or anything. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I'm leaving this weekend. I didn't tell you guys that, but I'm actually headed to the Midwest this upcoming week to visit family. I'm not going to be vlogging because I'll be with my grandparents and extended family and I just want to take the time to like spend time with them. So I will not be vlogging but obviously I'll have vlogs for you guys while I'm there. I may do some TikToks and stuff but I'm not going to bring my camera. I'm just going to use the opportunity to spend time with family and take a break. Not really a break from YouTube because I will still be posting. You won't be getting any Midwest content. So that is that. But what was I saying? I'm like losing my train of thought. Oh, I think because I know that I'm leaving on Friday and it's a three day weekend coming up for Juneteenth and then I'm in the Midwest until Wednesday, I don't really have the motivation to do work this week and I just feel kind of out of it, which is not good. I've also been going to bed really late. I've been reading really late at night to finish books that I've been starting, which is not a good habit to have. I literally stayed up until 11.30 last night, finishing one book and then started my next book. And then the night before that, I finished, I finished my book? Yeah, I think I stayed up till like 1.30 in the morning, finishing another book. And then before that, I was staying up late to finish the last book of the Throne of Glass series. So it's been a really busy reading week, two weeks and I've been staying up to finish books and I need to not do that. Even though reading is good for you, it's not good for you if it is <laughs> disrupting your sleep schedule and it's disrupting my sleep schedule at this point. So maybe that's also is that I'm just exhausted from staying up too late. So there could be a variety of things. But I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I'm going to finish this YouTube video and then get back to work. I have Pilates tonight after work at 5.30. So I'll take you guys along for that. And I don't know what else we're going to get up to. We shall see. for reasons I have absolutely no clue. You know when you just get in a funk for literally no reason and then you can't snap yourself out of it? That was me pretty much the entire day yesterday. I just didn't feel like talking to anyone. I didn't feel like doing anything. Motivation was low. And I was also really, really antsy. Like I couldn't like wear myself out. I had so much energy by the end of the night. So it was just all around a weird day yesterday and I kind of dropped off vlogging. Did get a few clips here and there of like Pilates, dinner, and I think that that is really it since the last time I talked to you guys. So I wanted to pick up the camera and say happy Wednesday. Today should be a better day than yesterday. I'm saying that lightly because one, John is gone now and I actually won't see him again until next Wednesday. He's on a business trip in Chicago this week from, he left this morning and he's gonna be there till Saturday and then he's going to his parents' house. And by the time he's at his parents' house, I'll be on my way to Kansas. And so we're both coming back next Wednesday, so I literally won't see him for an entire week now. And then on top of that, it's actually supposed to rain today. So I'm saying my mood will be better than yesterday, but see, because there are some factors that could affect that, but I'm gonna try to be positive for the most part. It's another work day. I don't think it's gonna be too busy with work, which I'm actually starting to like enjoy the busier days more than I'm starting to enjoy the days where my work isn't as busy. 
Fridays, I don't mind when work isn't busy. Friday work days should not be busy. That should be the day where everyone wraps up whatever they're doing to head into the weekend. During the week, I kind of just wish all of my days were busy because I feel like it makes the work day fly by. Am I the only one that feels that way? Let me know because I feel like that's a definitely a hot take. Not every day needs to be super, super busy, but I actually don't mind the days where meetings are kind of back to back and I have a bunch of different tasks to do because then my work day flies by and I feel like worn out at the end of the day and then by the time I do my workout and make dinner, like I'm ready for bed at the end of the day. And the days where I don't have as much work, I just feel very stir crazy. But today, we don't have as much work, so we're gonna feel a little stir crazy. I'm gonna try to keep myself occupied for the most part. Anyways, like I said, happy Wednesday and let's get the day started. All right, it's after work and I've been sitting here watching Below Deck for a little bit. I'm back into this TV show. I rediscovered it last night when I was looking for something to watch and I'm hooked. It's just so good, especially season 10. Would highly recommend. I'm getting ready to go for a little run. So I'll show you the outfit I'm wearing. Set active leggings, Amazon top. I'm gonna wear my Nike shoes. Hair is up. It's kind of cold outside, so I feel like maybe I should bring a jacket, but also I'm running, so I feel like it, I don't know, maybe it'll be fine. It's been raining on and off all day. It was legitimately downpouring earlier. I haven't seen it rain that hard in New York in a long time. So I'm hoping that the rain is done for the day and that I'm not gonna get poured on in the middle of this run. I'm back to my workout. I did a two mile run, two minutes running, one minute walk for two miles. And then I walked the last mile back home. Did a little like workout in the gym and now I'm getting ready to make dinner. I think I'm going to make the cheesy beef quesadillas, but without the sweet potato wedges, this is what it looks like. It's just me. So this recipe is going to be a lot, but I guess I could save two of the quesadillas for lunch tomorrow. And then I'll probably just save the sweet potato for a different day or like throw it away or something. I don't want to be wasteful, but I'm also leaving for a week starting Saturday. So I don't want to have food rot in the fridge. I don't actually, sweet potatoes probably last a while. I probably could just keep it in the fridge. Anyways, off topic. I'm going to make this for dinner. Watching more Below Deck, and then I'm probably going to take a shower, read, or watch Love Island or do something of that sort since it's just me tonight. I am feeling slightly lonely today. I will have to admit. I do like alone time but it's nice to have like alone time during the day and then have someone to talk to or interact with <laughs> at night so when it's just me I feel like I kind of go stir crazy and I'm feeling a little bit stir crazy so I'm gonna try to entertain myself by binging all of the tv shows and then hopefully that helps <laughs> I don't know I just ran to CVS to get a few items. So I figured to do a mini CVS haul, not that it's that interesting, but I just picked up a few essentials for my trip. I like to replenish my like little travel kit every time I travel because a lot of times I'll run out of things like here and there. So I just want to make sure that it was fully stocked and I knew exactly what I was missing from when I went home because I like threw things away. So starting off, I got coconut water, which are not going in the travel kit, but I do want to make a smoothie today. Ibuprofen tablets dry shampoo i love the batiste brand and actually surprisingly this is the brand that my hairdresser also recommends he said it was a good one so it's kind of cool that it's like a drugstore and not super expensive travel toothpaste head and shoulders this is slightly embarrassing but also real life i've been having a lot of like scalp issues recently i don't know if it's my allergies the dryness outside our shower what it is but my scalp has been like super itchy and just like dry and i've never had that issue before in my life so we're going back to the og head and shoulders to try to resolve this i think that's a trend this year because 
I've seen multiple people talk about having like dry itchy scalp recently like specifically in New York so I don't know if it's just the air here is what's causing it or what but I've never had this problem before so I'm going back to what I used to use when I was little head and shoulders and I just bought the little travel size because one I'm traveling in two I don't need the whole bottle because I'm gonna go back to my normal shampoo once the issue gets resolved and then a little travel makeup pack so that's it for my little CVS haul. Like I mentioned, it's Thursday, so we are working today. It is beautiful outside for the first time in forever. Or what feels like forever. It's not actually been forever, but it's been so dreary and like weird all week. And it's actually sunny out for right now. I think it is supposed to get cloudy later. But you know, we're going to enjoy it while we have it. I have a few meetings today. I have some emails to send out. Today is definitely a busier work day than yesterday, which I, again, I talked about this yesterday, but I just appreciate. Sometimes when work days are busy because it makes the day go by faster. And at this point, I'm just trying to get to the weekend. Like I'm ready to go, not really on vacation, but I'm ready to go visit family. I'm ready for the week to be over. I don't like staying in this apartment by myself. So the faster the days go by, the better. So that's a little update for today. I will check back in a little bit later on and see where we're at. Probably to make a smoothie because I am craving a smoothie right now. making lunch. I'm just heating up the leftover quesadilla that I made yesterday for dinner. I'm gonna heat it up in the oven. Wait, it didn't work. Hello? Okay, I did start the oven, so now we're a little delayed, but I'm gonna heat it up in the oven so that it gets crunchy and not mushy, because I feel like the microwave makes it kind of mushy sometimes. I also just finished filming a little pack with me on TikTok on my lunch break, because I wanted to do that on TikTok. I make so many packing videos on here and I feel like they're so repetitive and you guys can kind of like get the gist but I make so many packing videos so just like go back and refer to packing videos if you want specifics on how I pack and the technique that I use. I think I'm actually going to make a packing video when I go to Punta Cana in July because I've never packed or I haven't filmed packing for an all-inclusive resort and I feel like it'll be a little bit different than other packing videos that I've created in the past. So if you like the packing videos, you have that to look forward to in about a month or so. But I just didn't film it for the vlog this time because I wanted to make it for TikTok and maybe I'll post it to YouTube shorts or something like that. Yeah, that's what I've been up to. I just wanted to get packing out of the way to see what I'm missing slash what I would need to pick up before... I leave on Saturday. Tomorrow would be like the last day to grab things. So I think I'm, I'm still missing face wash, which I need to grab. And then I have two t-shirts that are drying on the drying rack because I did laundry this morning that I want to pack. So I need to pack those. I just made like a little short list in my phone of last minute things to grab. So we're making progress so far. And like I mentioned before, it's been a busy day with work. So I've been working for the majority of the day doing meetings. I actually have this 30 minute, 45 minute break from work to do my own thing before I have to get back to work because then I have meetings for the rest of the day. It also got gloomy outside. Like literally there's so many dark clouds in the sky now. The sun only lasted for the morning, which I'm kind of sad about because I was looking forward to going for like a walk or something after work today just to get some vitamin D in and now the sun is hiding, which kind of sucks. picked up kava for dinner tonight this is my order it is so good i never stray from it i used to be the biggest kava hater because i didn't i was like picky i feel like a few years ago and since trying a bunch of different foods i'm now a kava stan it is so good all right needless to say it's now 
after work I went for a two mile walk after work and then came back here and sat on the couch for a little bit and then went and picked up my kava order now I'm going to eat dinner on the couch because I can and watch some YouTube. I think Rachel Radke, well Rachel on I feel like I'm always gonna call her Rachel Radke because that's what I like started subscribing to her as and now she's Rachel Ottenry even though it's been like a year now. Destiny just posted, Maggie McDonald's, just a few of my faves. So I'm gonna sit on the couch and eat dinner and watch some YouTube. I didn't feel like doing a hard workout tonight which is why I just decided to go for a walk. My throat kind of feels weird and it's definitely due to allergies like I can feel this is gross but like you know when your nose is stuffy and then you like you're all clogged up and then drainage happens and then your throat feels funky that's happening to me I did take a COVID test I went and picked up a COVID test on my walk because I needed to get a water from CVS anyways so I was like might as well pick up a COVID test just to be safe while I was in there because I know sometimes the COVID symptoms can mimic allergy symptoms and since I'm traveling this weekend to see family I just wanted to make sure that I'm like 100% good I'm not gonna get anyone sick and it came back negative so it's 100% just allergies but I'm just not feeling like working out when I like can't really I can breathe but I just feel like congested and stuffed up maybe I also have a cold that could potentially be a thing I'm not super sure so I'm gonna sit on the couch eat dinner watch YouTube and then take a shower and I'm gonna try to read tonight. I haven't read in like three days because I've been in kind of a book slump. I, I probably should not be eating this on my white pillow. Um, but sometimes you gotta risk it. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. I've spent the morning editing this vlog, working, drinking my coffee. Typical work week morning routine. You know how it is. I actually feel like I should film like an in-depth morning routine for my work week because I haven't filmed a morning routine in so long. Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in because I was just thinking about how either last year or the year before it was a trend for people to film night routines and morning routines and I honestly haven't seen those on YouTube in such a long time. It's like no one really films those anymore. So maybe we should bring them back and I can give you guys like an in-depth routine on how I start my mornings for work, which is nothing super crazy. It's a very, very practical. I'm not a morning person, so it'll be a morning in my life as someone that works nine to five, but is also not a morning person. But anyways, I've been editing this vlog and I wanted to hop on here quickly. That sounds like a sponsorship. I wanted to hop on here quickly to thank the sponsor of today's video, myself. No, but I wanted to chat quickly because I've been editing this video and I feel like throughout the entire video, you can tell that I was just in like such a weird funk this week. And I'm still kind of in that funk and I'm just so ready for the weekend at this point. I'm ready for my work day to end. I'm ready to go to sleep and wake up and get on a plane tomorrow and go see my family. It's just been a weird week and I just like wanted to touch on that quickly because I like try not to film like when I'm in a bad mood or when I'm sad or when I'm in a funk because it's not fun content for you guys to watch but also it is practical and it is just the reality of life. Like some weeks are better than others. Some weeks you're in a funk, some weeks you're having like the best week of your life. Some some days you're in a funk, some days you're having the best day of your life. It just really fluctuates depending on like what the weather is outside, my mood, what's occurring in my life, things I'm looking forward to. You guys get the gist. And you can tell in this vlog that I'm in a funk and I feel like I'm still kind of in a funk. So I don't know. I just wanted to quickly address that because it's not like my typical content. I've been trying to keep my vlogs like very upbeat recently and have like a lot of interesting content for you guys. I've been filming more on the weekend than I have been during the week because more interesting stuff happens on the weekend. You guys get the point. And I definitely tried to like stamp myself out of this funk throughout this vlog and I definitely did things that boosted my mood. So I figured I'd give you guys a recommendation on ways to get out of a funk if maybe you're in a funk and things that have helped me. Clearly I'm not fully out of it, but things that have just like boosted my mood temporarily one of them has been working out and I know this is such a basic answer but I really do think that moving your body and working out helps relieve a lot of stress and helps temporarily distract you and it's just good for your mental health and physical health so whether that is going for a walk weightlifting, going for a run, doing Pilates, whatever it may be I would highly recommend just going outside and doing something because you're killing two birds with one stone 
you're getting exercise in and then you're also getting vitamin D in and well, I guess three birds with one stone because you're also getting fresh air. And I think fresh air is another thing that really helps when getting out of a funk, just changing your environment and going for a walk outside specifically. Like yes, you can go for a walk on the treadmill, but I think the getting outside and just being with other humans, nature, sunlight, the fresh air, that is the recipe for success. So there's three things right there. Getting outside, vitamin D, exercise. Three ways to help me with my funk. Another thing is like planning things to look forward to. So for example, I didn't, I planned this a long time ago, but I'm going away this weekend and that's gonna help me get out of my funk. If you don't have you know the power to go away this weekend maybe tell yourself you're going to go to a new coffee shop and try a new coffee shop this weekend maybe tell yourself you're going to go try a new restaurant that you want maybe tell yourself that you want to go to your local bookstore you want to try a new workout class you want to go explore a new part of your city or your town hang out with your friends hang out with your significant other i don't know whatever it may be just like plan something to look forward to because that is what's going to help also snap you out of the funk. Like I know the second that I wake up tomorrow morning and go to the airport and get on the plane and like see my family, uh, my funk is going to be completely gone. And I am very much so looking forward to that. Those are a few things that help me get out of a funk. If it doesn't help me get out of funk entirely, it helps mitigate the funk symptoms. So hopefully that is helpful for you guys if you're in the same situation or if you get into a funk often or just like rarely and you never know how to get out of it or like what to do those are some things that work for me with that being said since it's friday and i'm just gonna work for the rest of the day and then i have no plans tonight i'm gonna stay in because i have a flight really really tomorrow and i also just don't want to risk like going out in public and getting sick because i'm already kind of like nasally from my allergies I am going to go ahead and end off this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed despite the fact that like my mood fluctuated a lot throughout this vlog and the fact that it was basically a work week in my life because I was just at home and giving you updates on work and eating and then working out. But that is the reality of my life and working from home and working nine to five. I wish it wasn't, but it is what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe down below, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.